everyone, I've got another authentication video for you today and today's video is going to be on Stella McCartney Falabella range. Now, the Falabella range came out in 2010 and since its launch it's been hugely, hugely popular for the fashion house and they've actually released it in so many different seasonal finishes as well as a timeless collection as well and yeah, they're great aren't they? I absolutely love these. But yeah, I'm going to give you a few tips today on how to um, spot a fake. So you may already know that the Fella Bella collection is actually made from faux leather. We actually call this type of leather that they're made from um, Shaggy Deer, that's the actual name of the, the leather that they, or the faux leather that they make it from. And Shaggy Deer is actually really, really expensive to manufacture. It's more expensive than leather and then suede. Um, which is one of the reasons why these bags are so highly priced and I know a lot of people always say well why is it how can they justify charging that money if it's not leather um, but these are so well made this fabric is absolutely indestructible like it's really really robust um, and like I said really expensive to manufacture so this is one of the first things that I check which is actually the fabric itself and it's actually really hard for the fakers to fake this um, because it is so well structured and it is so well made it's really easy to spot once you know what you're looking for. What they do is they print this pebbled effect onto it to make it look like leather and on the fakes they basically just make a really really shoddy job of this. Um, so if you look closely at the fabric you should be able to see, I'll try and like lift it to the light, but you should be able to see it's got like a printed effect on the top and that should really be re relatively even in the way that it's been printed. If you can see that. And it also should feel very soft, um, so it actually does feel like suede, um, it doesn't actually feel like it's fake or anything like that. Um, whereas a lot of a lot of the fakes use um, a cheap, cheap and synthetic fabrics which feel a lot more stiff um, or a lot harder and they don't achieve that lovely um, soft effect. One of the next things that I will look at is the actual chain detail itself, so all the Falabellas have this beautiful kind of exposed chain detail all the way around. And this is actually really, really, really hard to um, to craft together. And th this is why these pieces are handcrafted. Um, because they are so hard to get right. So this should feel pretty stiff, like along the edges. It's not, you can't really like move it around very easily. And one of the things that they you should notice is the way that it's being constructed. So if you look at the, um, the little holes along the bottom, um, all of these should be evenly spaced. So I don't know if you can see that, but all those holes are so perfectly evenly spaced. And then what they do at that point is they then, it's called whip stitching, the way that they um, manufacture it. And they basically whip stitch this thread all the way along into each hole and they fasten the chain onto the whip stitching. And it's all done very, very tightly. Um, so like I said, these pieces are handcrafted by talented craftsmanship. Uh, people who make sure that that is very very tightly stitched on and that's what gives it this really kind of stiff effect and with the fakes they just can't they just can't get it right because they're not a lot of the times people who produce fake uh, bags and I know there are exceptions to this but generally they're not leather craftsman craftsman's people and this is why the fakes are, are quite shoddy so if you look at that how detailed that is and how carefully it's been done and I don't know if you can just see but each piece where it's been whip stitched is securing each chain link onto the bag and it's just absolutely flawless and these as well should be really tight where it's been whip stitched you shouldn't be able to even move that piece of like I'm trying to move it now and it's not even moving it should be really really secure one of the other things that we can check is the hardware itself so on the chain now this should feel relatively heavy um not as heavy as maybe you know your chanel or a, a higher end a higher end piece and these pieces of chain are actually diamond cut in the manufacturing process and basically all that means is that you get this beautiful kind of flat edged um effect on the chain which i don't know if you can see that and it also means that every single piece is absolutely perfectly identical to the piece next to it. And again, that's really, really difficult for the fakers to get right. 
this is all nearly always in ruthenium hardware as well which is this beautiful color beautiful kind of dark gray color and then you have your little um stella mccartney um i don't know what to call it the little round thing on the zip ball um and this is usually punched metal and again it should feel substantial when we open up the zip to look at the inside one of the things that always gives a fake away for me anyway is the label inside so it should be still and made in italy these bags are handcrafted in italy um but one of the things that the fakers get wrong on this label is they quite often glue it down so even though it looks on some of the fakes it looks like it's stitched down if you actually pull this bit apart a little bit you will start seeing glue residue not on this one because it's a genuine one but on the fakes you can start to see glue residue underneath where this is this piece of uh, suede or faux suede has been glued down um but on the real ones it's it's been stitched and you shouldn't be able to pull away any of that label there and then on the inside we have the beautiful lining which i'm going to try and see if i can get out it's pretty stiff and this is the other thing with these bags is they are pretty stiffly constructed um whereas a lot of the fakes tend to not be able to get that right and on the inside we've got this beautiful um jacket fabric where the label's been the uh, logo sorry has been stitched inside and this is on generally on um recycled nylon that's how they're made um and jacquard fabric should have a texture to them so if you i'm trying to like show you better but i don't know if you can see there's like a bit of a texture there i don't think you can see camera's probably not picking it up but yeah it basically should have like a bit of a mottled effect because it's jack it's jacquard fabric um and again that's something that the fakes quite often get wrong and again it's very very tight the lining it's pretty much flush to the outer there's not really like big gaps where there's excess material there it's all pretty tightly done on the inside and yeah that does it there's some tips for you so just to summarize some of the things that i always look for when i look at these bags is the fabric that it's made from so like i said it's this shaggy deer fabric that actually does feel very very good quality and it feels like suede it should be a um, printed pebble effect on the top of the fabric we look at the hardware and the way that it's being constructed with the whip stitching we look at the um finishing hardware where we look at the color we look at the way it's being cut and we look at the um we feel the um, weight of it and then on the inside big giveaway is the generally the label and the way that it's constructed on the inside with this fabric so I hope that helps um, please leave your comments down below and um, I will link below to my authentication service website where I can help you to authenticate pieces or my team can help you to authenticate pieces that you might be looking to purchase pre-loved and yeah I'll link all that down below thank you for watching and if you want to subscribe to my videos that would be fantastic I'm gonna aim to um, upload more kind of not just authentication videos but content in general around luxury fashion goods so it would be lovely if you could subscribe thank you very much for listening and I'll see you again soon bye